all I'm going to talk about in this video is hexadecimal and what it is okay I'm not going to go into conversions uh, I'll do that in another video all I want to do is explain what it is why we use it and basically how it compares to decimal but not converting it to decimal or from decimal because I'll look at that um, later on so I'm assuming at this point that you know binary if not then it's a good idea to have a look at that first um, and then move on to hexadecimal hexadecimal is another number system which is used widely in computers um, the regular number system that we use every day as you probably already know is called decimal or denary it's got 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 okay so it's a base 10 number system because there are 10 digits hexadecimal is a base 16 number system what that means is that what happens when we get to the end of 9 is that we do something different to what we do in decimal in decimal when we get to the end of 9 what we do is we go back to our first whole number and we put a 0 next to it so we go 1 0 then we've got 1 1 1 2 1 3 so basically we can only possibly get up to the tenth digit if we include 0 in that as well before we have to start using two digits so we have 10 possible digits that's what the base of a number system means if you've got a base 2 number system it means that there are two possible single digits before you have to start putting other ones on it this is a base 10 number system hexadecimal is a base 16 number system so after 9 in hexadecimal we don't go to 10 in hexadecimal after 9 we go to A okay and then we go to B C D E and F okay so as you can see we've added another six possible single digits to our number system the implication of that is that we can represent larger numbers by using less digits that's one of the reasons that we use it in computers so we can represent when we get huge numbers they can represent it in a shorter space which makes it easier for us however a really big reason why we use this is that it's incredibly easy to convert hexadecimal to binary okay and it looks a lot nicer than binary when you're looking at long lists of code um, in a computer so if you're debugging something and you're trying to find out where an error is or if you're looking at for example it's using colors then it's very easy to look at this compared to binary okay but it's very easy to convert this into binary and it's more difficult to convert denary or decimal into binary so this then as you probably guessed represents 10 okay so instead of 10 if you were to say you're 10 years old but you were to use the hexadecimal number system you would say you're eight years old this one here is 11 this is 12 this is 13 this is 14 and this is 15 again it sometimes confuses people that it stops at 15 because hexadecimal you would think it goes up to 16 but it doesn't all of these number systems were including zero when we count in how many digits there are and therefore uh, there are 16 digits in total but the last one represents 15 because this is here the big confusion that uh, usually happens when people look at hexadecimal or at least one of them is that they don't know where to go after F often what people do if they don't really know this number system very well is they'll have a bit of a guess and they'll usually go to 1A okay however it's much more simple than that it works exactly the same principle as decimal all we do after 15 is we go back to our first whole number and we put a zero next to it so 16 is 1 0 okay 17 1 1 18 1 2 all we're doing is we're increasing this number the interesting thing is that when we get to 18 and 19 in hexadecimal not in denary or decimal we then go to 1a because we don't have to go back to the start and change this number just yet because we've got more numbers up here to use okay so when you see 
1a it means that what's happened is we've gone up all these numbers here and we can't possibly um, we cut we don't use the number 2 yet because we've got an a to use okay so we don't move move on to 20 we're gonna move on to 1a alright not that this one is the same as our decimal 19 anyway it's a completely different number as you can see here so one other confusion that people have when they're using hexadecimal is that occasionally they'll see a number like 1 2 okay so they'll see the number 12 and they'll assume always that that must be a decimal number because people because this is different this bit here oh or at least this bit here let's get rid of these ones because this is different people get hung up on the idea that you must have some letters in a hexadecimal number but you don't have to you can have a hexadecimal number that just contains the regular numbers that you're used to okay this can be a hexadecimal number just the same as this can be a hexadecimal number uh, this can be a hexadecimal number okay they don't have to contain letters it's the same principle as saying well a decimal number must surely contain seven eight and nine but why why can't it just contain these ones here so don't get too hung up on the idea that these letters are in the number system because they don't have to be in every number okay so that's the absolute basics of the hexadecimal number system and I'll do another video on how to convert from decimal to hexadecimal and also from binary to hexadecimal okay